the most challenging thing you think at, at this stage in the game? Mm -hmm. um, because you've been doing this for six years, yeah. so I imagine a lot of it is muscle memory at this point. Yeah. A lot of it is probably very confident at this point. What are some of the things that, that still make you nervous now? You know what, I think what's really tricky is sometimes giving yourself permission to try new stuff, even though the stuff that you've been doing is working. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like, luckily, we have Casey Nicola, who's an amazing director, right, yeah. and really sets the tone to let us all just explore yeah. and make wrong decisions. Yeah, but yeah. you learn from a lot of that. And I think, especially doing it eight nights a week, yeah. I gotta say the lines differently. Right, like, right. I gotta try to make it feel like it's my first time doing it. That's the thing that I've taken away too. And Rachel Chapman is directing our show, so mm -hmm. open like that too. And she's, and I've kind of said to her like. There are going to be moments like where I'm coming. I'm coming from a concert world where like I have to work on my shit yeah. all the time, yeah, yeah. and I'm going to be coming into this, and I'm going to be like, there are going to be moments where I feel miserable. There are going to be moments where I feel really embarrassed and really vulnerable, and just and is that okay? And like, it is all about being allowed. Oh, to it's do that. the best. And I think that part of that's terrifying, and part of that is really great and gratifying uh -huh. to be in a world where you can not only fail but you can fail in front of a family of people that are all going through the same insecurity, you know? It's true. It's nerve wracking, you know? Yeah, and to be honest, a lot of times, the audience has no idea. <laughs> They're seeing it for the first time, That's too. That's true. And in Freaky Period, sometimes if you mess up, they kind of like, just they saw it. Oh, yeah, completely. Like, yeah. Oh, they like nothing more than like falling scenery. Right, right. <laughs> and they can tell their friends about it. Right. And then they'll go buy tickets. Hopefully. Right, right. And then it becomes noise often. Yes, yeah, so, and yeah. then we're doing it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, exactly right, exactly right. Um, but yeah, it's important in a, in a longer run, I think, to remember that most of the people who are seeing the show that night are seeing it for the first time. Yeah. And so you have to give as much as you gave that, that first night. I you think know? that's the answer that I've always had. That's the answer that everybody who's been doing this um, so brilliantly um, has, has told me, which is that no matter what you're walking in the door with that night, that yeah. day, your night is always the same because that's that bug that we've had since we were little. It's, it's, when you have an audience that's going to get a fresh slate. Yeah. That thing, the storyteller in you comes out. That's, it can't not, you right, know, and it right. gets you through it. And it's 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 an expensive outing to take your family to the Broadway <laughs> sure, yeah, show. Yeah. So you have a responsibility to sort of you know give them yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, to totally. And you will. Well, if I <laughs> can't can, wait if to I can see reach it. even a, a, a small sliver of what you've accomplished in, oh, in this world, it would be a, a, a great dream. So. Charlie, thank you so much for taking yeah, time. Yeah, great to it. talk to and you. And congratulations on Tuck Everlasting. Thank you. Um, it, the preview start when? March 31st. March 31st, and opening night is? April 26th. Yeah. April 26th. April 26th. Okay. Opening night, April 26th. Tuck Everlasting. <laughs> Thanks for talking with me today. I really appreciate Yay. it. Congrats to you. Congrats to you. Happy thank to you. Thank you so much.